I'm Nina Curley of Wamja. We are live in the Wamja studio at ArabNet with Ahmad Khatib, the founder of Marka VIP, and Ahmad Nabulsi, the VP of Business Development. How are you guys? Good, thank you. Thank you for having us. How are you enjoying the conference? Uh, I heard you just had a big fashion show. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been actually, it's been great. This is our first time here. Uh, we are a platinum sponsor for the event because we believe in, in, uh, in uh, the entrepreneurship in this region and uh, it's great to meet so many different people. Okay. Yeah, glad to be here. Uh, it, it's uh, been really uh, um, impressed with the whole thing. Good. So just tell me a little bit about how you got inspired to start Marka VIP in the first place. You're now one of the biggest stories of the year in terms of the way you're growing, sure. and the investment you've garnered. How did you start? So uh, I moved back from the States uh, a couple of years ago and we were looking for something that would be compatible with the region, given all the entry, uh, the barriers uh, to entry. And uh, we took the example of kupivip.com, which is uh, a private Russian uh, uh, club uh, in Russia that's uh, doing crazy numbers as well, purely on cash on delivery. There's no logistics, uh, no payment infrastructure. And we thought that if these guys can do it in Russia, we could also very well do it in the Middle East, given that the Middle East generally is uh, more advanced uh, than Russia in terms of logistics and, and other things. So this is really was uh, the main inspiration. Um, secondly, uh, the, the, the youth, the, the people here in the Middle East, are very young, very fashion savvy, uh, and very much into their brands. So we knew that uh, this is definitely will be appealing to more of a mass market. I see. And let's get into the numbers now. At, at this sure. stage, you know, you guys are in a position to release numbers. A lot of other sales sites, luxury goods sites, e-commerce sites are really not, are not at a point where they want to release their numbers. How much are you spending? How much are you making? Sure. Well, um, as, as I mentioned in my speech, uh, to date, we've sold over 450,000 products on Market VIP. In March alone, up to a couple of hours ago, We've uh, sold 55,000 products, or 1,750 products a day, or 1.5 products per minute. Our biggest day in March, uh, we achieved $324,000 in, uh, in sales, and this was uh, a record breaker for us. Uh, uh, we are on track to reach $100 million in incoming orders this year. I can't release how much revenue we're doing a month, but we are cruising to the $100 million mark. And when exactly did you launch? How long has it taken you to get to that point? We launched in uh, November 2010, so it's been a little bit over a year, uh, and so we've reached a million members sometime in uh, in January. We are adding uh, close to 10,000 members a day, subscribers a day. We've sent our, our members have sent over a million invitations uh, to to their friends uh, to join Marka VIP. Uh, and yeah, so those, those are some of the rough figures that we've, we've, uh, we've witnessed uh, over the past uh, 16 months. And what do you think sets you apart that you've been able to have this astronomical growth? You know, you have other competitors in the market like Sukar. What sets you apart? Uh, what sets us apart is, uh, is uh, our experience. So we are industry experts. We came from the Valley. Ahmad is ex-Oracle, uh, uh, ex-Sun Microsystems, uh, uh, ex-Citrix.com. Uh, I myself have worked in the e-commerce space in the Valley very early on uh, and had the opportunity to work with some of the leading e-commerce brands. So we definitely have the experience uh, in terms of e-commerce, virtual merchandising, analytics, things of that nature. Um, uh, and that, that was our greatest strength. Our greatest weakness is that we didn't know too much about the region. And we learned very quickly that we needed to be where the customer is as well as where the supplier is. So we've set up local operations in almost every country where we, uh, where we operate. So we have a, an office in uh, Dubai and a warehouse in Dubai. We have an office in Jeddah, as well as a warehouse in Jordan, in Lebanon. Uh, we have a sourcing office in Los Angeles. We have a sourcing office in Turkey. And we're launching uh, 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 another uh, sourcing office in Madrid, uh, Spain, very soon. Uh, those are the basic uh, key uh, differentiators. Uh, on Marca VIP, the price that the customer sees is the final price that they pay at the door. Where if you're shopping with other websites, there's always uh, uh, surprises. You're paying extra on cash on delivery costs. You're paying extra in customs and taxes and things like that. And people really, I mean, this is, this, this is um, 
uh, a showstopper for the convenience model uh, uh, online. So uh, uh, I mean, these are some of the, some of the basic things. I'll have Ahmed have a, a word about that as well. Yeah, obviously, uh, tons of uh, differentiators here. We, uh, the, I think, the way we source uh, differentiates us from the competition. Uh, the, the way we conquer this whole uh, uh, region uh, in, in, in terms of uh, uh, cross-border uh, shipping and, and other challenges that you know any e-commerce site would, would face, uh, I think we mastered this whole thing. And a lot of other sites were not, you know, was not able, were not able to do. So uh, I would say that, that was that was the main differentiator between us and everybody else. I see. So, and when it comes to the products, I mean, I heard a friend say she saw your fashion show and she immediately wants to buy the dress. Do you think you're also just sourcing better products? I think that's, uh, like I mentioned earlier, that's definitely. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, 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 I think uh, we handpick our suppliers, and that's something. Uh, that's why we have sourcing offices all over the world, and uh, I believe uh, we're very unique in, in that sense. A lot of other websites do not do that. Uh, so we're closer to our market, we're closer to our suppliers, and that's how we can do that. That's why we're able to source the products that a lot of people want. I see. And let's talk about the customers. Um, who, who are your biggest customers? Which countries are they mostly coming from? Okay. Um, obviously, Saudi Arabia is, uh, is our you know, biggest uh, country. We, we, we have a, a big percentage of our customers coming from there. Uh, the, the GCC in general is probably our strongest uh, market. Uh, you know, given the fact they have high internet penetration, their per capita income is much higher than other places. Uh, but but we also have a big presence in Lebanon and Jordan as well. So, uh, but I would say top two countries: Saudi and, 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 and UAE. I can touch on that as well. Yeah. So uh, the biggest customer to date on Marca VIP spent one hundred and thirty thousand dollars. The second best one spent seventy five thousand. That's the third, per month. Uh, no, in total. Oh, lifetime, lifetime value. value, yeah. Wow. And the third one spent thirty thousand. Okay. Yeah. So, it's, uh, people are definitely addicted uh, uh, to 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 mark a VIP. The other key differentiator is, as I mentioned uh, in my speech, is that we've become a launchpad for a lot of new brands. Uh, um, as I mentioned, there's a lot of brands that want to come to the Middle East. They don't understand the market. They don't understand the region, the norms, the values, the beliefs, and uh, you know they they they're quite uh, uh, yeah. I mean, it's very expensive to set up a shop in the region. Going to Dubai Mall or Emirates Mall or Abdul, whatever you know, malls in, in, in the Middle East, extremely expensive uh, to set up shop. And not knowing whether people are going to buy your brand, not having the market research on the how people will adapt to your prices and the quality, it's very scary for a brand to do that. So they use Marca VIP to test for, let's say, six months to a year before they decide to... to uh, uh, to come to the region, and 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 by that, 50% of the products that we offer on Marca VIP don't even exist in the Middle East. People can't get them anywhere else. So I see. So part of your wild growth is that they're coming to you looking for a platform. Absolutely, absolutely. We we get contacted by brands on a daily basis from all over the world. I see. And does it help that you offer cash on delivery? in addition to credit cards, what's the breakdown on that? What are you seeing well, across in, the region? In absolute terms, all online shoppers, even in the States and in Europe, would love to pay on delivery. Uh, as you know, the issue that happened with Zappos, where credit card information, uh, where, where personal information was, uh, 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 was stolen, and, and people are always um, uh, uh, you know, unclear about how the shipment would look like. So if people had a chance to actually pay on delivery, Nobody would use credit cards on the internet. And this is why you have Klarna, which is one of the top start payment startups in the world. It's a UK company that does exactly this and it, it's being adopted very, very fast. So people are shopping with, with cash on delivery for several reasons. The first reason is, is that uh, uh, people don't trust giving their credit card to a browser. Yeah, uh, 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 Even though they may have a credit card, uh, safety reasons, security issues, uh, not being familiar with shopping online, at least their first try usually is cash on delivery. But we're seeing that almost a very big percentage of, of the people that purchase the first time on Marca VIP using cash on delivery are converting to becoming credit card members afterwards because they've had the chance to deal with the company, their product was delivered, they, they, there was a relationship between us and them, and therefore they feel more uh, 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 confident and comfortable using their credit card. But it remains, a cash on delivery 
uh, business, uh, which uh, is very challenging for any startup because it's a working, uh, positive working capital. You have to finance your growth. So if you tell me, I want you to do $50 million, I'm going to ask you for $10 million up front because I have to purchase the products on your behalf, on the customer's behalf, clear them, import them, pay for any shipping costs related to it, and then collect my money from you. That cash cycle is very, very difficult to deal with, and it needs a world-class team uh, in, in order to manage it in, in all these different countries. I see. So do you feel like you're educating the market as they, as they shift from cash on delivery to credit card, that the general consumer base is becoming more comfortable with credit card use across the board, or it's simply that they trust your brand? Uh, it's, it's, it's both. Uh, we are definitely educating the consumer, and uh, uh, you know, consumer awareness is very critical for, for this region as well. So we're partly building the industry, and we're partly pioneering, uh, but at the same time, we, we'd like to make some money off of it. We don't want to be the pioneers. Of course. Um, so, and you're rapidly expanding. I just, I'm curious, what's next for you? Um, is there a certain limit at which you'll cap your growth? Or? Yeah, we, ha we haven't even scratched the surface yet. So, uh, yeah, unofficial figures put uh, that there are 135 million people uh, in, in, um, in the Middle East online. Official figures put it at 70 million, excluding uh, certain countries. Uh, in my mind, there's a lot more people. There's around 150 million people online. And that's because, just from my personal experience, when I go visit my cousins and my family members, usually it's one internet connection that's shared by the whole building. So I wouldn't count it by, by how many internet connections are there. We have a million members out of a possible 100 million, let's say. So we really have, haven't really started yet. This is just uh, getting our, our, our feet wet. And, and, and we believe that um, uh, we... we we are the number one e-commerce company uh, in the Middle East and we want to continue being number one uh, and we want to become a household brand. We're not in this business to exit, even if we get offered a billion dollars today, well, maybe that's not true. If we get a lot of money offered today from uh, some company who wants to acquire us, maybe our investors will sell. But as the founders, we're definitely here to stay. Uh, being number one and, and, and maintaining that position can be something that we can monetize for the next 50 years. I think that's a mentality that a lot of startups can look up to. So. Absolutely. As I mentioned in my speech, if you build a business to exit, you're not building a business. So we're not building it to exit. Great. We're well, here to stay. Look forward to hearing what you guys get up to next year. Yep, absolutely. So. Thank you so much. Very exciting. And uh, we love Wanda, we love Arabnet, and we, we love Aramex as well. Uh, Aramex <laughs> has definitely been one of uh, the... Uh, even though we faced a lot of challenges, but uh, they've been one of uh, our good partners in trying to figure out some of the challenges that, that we've had. So uh, hopefully uh, uh, we are able to build a foundation for other companies to, to come in into this uh, space and, 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 and uh, uh, advance the Arab world into, into the next e-commerce uh, you know, market, huge market in the world. Absolutely. So, yeah. It's on Perfect. the rise. Well, thank thanks you. for chatting with us. Thanks.